Todd is standing outside in the rain. Todd, how's it feeling out there? You know, Ashley, it is just downright nasty out here. It's all rain in the metro area, which is the good news, but it is a windswept rain. That's why I have the hood on the umbrella today. Probably not going to be much of a benefit for you. It's basically going to get turned inside out as these winds really start to pick up. Take a look at Truview Radar. It's here, well, rain here in the metro area, but as you work your way to the north, there is a little bit of mixing that's taking place. Uh, but as Ashley it will tell you here, as the warmer air starts to work in, uh, we are going to see all that change over to rain briefly before we start to bring in the real cold air this afternoon, Ashley, and that'll change all this rain eventually over to snow. But again, it's all rain down here in downtown Indianapolis, and it is nasty because these winds, they're really starting to pick up as well. Yeah, and actually, if you have the Storm Shield app or our Snowcast app, what you're going to notice here is that you're going to have these watches and warnings that are out throughout the area. As you get a view of what's happening here, you'll notice that Westfield, you're under a winter weather advisory. That's what's in purple. In, in white is the warning. Those warnings go into effect at 10 a.m. And we also have some blizzard warnings because gusty winds will be an issue. The good news here is that we'll have that heavy wet snow and that heavy wet snow will not move much for many of us, but some of us uh, will actually get in on some gusty winds that will blow some of that snow. All right, so here's the massive view of things. The moisture kind of creeping in from the south. The colder air starting to uh, move into northern Indiana. As a result, some areas getting in on a bit of a wintry mix. Let's zoom in here. Now, I've already checked the readings for Peru and Tacokomo. You are getting a very cold rain. The upper layers of the atmosphere showing this as a mix, and it's possible that you start to get a bit of a rain snow mix throughout the morning hours. As we zoom in to Indianapolis, if you're traveling up 69 this morning, if your travels take you that way, just rain. Those windshield wipers working very hard this morning. Around the 465 loop into Lawrence, very heavy rain at the moment, and you'll continue to see that. If you're traveling south, well, that's where we see the heaviest of the rain. Now, if you're traveling, traveling south, 74 into Shelbyville, very heavy rain right now. The good news, no lightning associated with this system. It's just rain. Uh, if you're traveling 70 into Mooresville, you're going to deal with that rain as well. So let's plan out your day. How long will you deal with the rain? Well, most of the morning it's rain for us. The northwest quadrant of the state, you are first to see that transition from rain to snow. First, you see it as a wintry mix, and because of temperatures, ground temperatures, it will take a while for this to start to stick. So, you are first to see it from Lafayette to Crawfordsville, and that's why you're in the warning area. You can see the very clear rain snow mix line there at around 1230, still sitting to the west of Indianapolis, just moving out of Crawfordsville. But I do think by about 4 p.m., we have moved the timing of the transition up. Now, this will increase snowfall totals for some locations. So the rain snow mix starting to happen for us at 4 p.m. This is during the evening commute. So expecting a messy evening commute here for central Indianapolis and around Lafayette and to Crawfordsville. At that point, you've already seen several hours of snow, so you have accumulation on the ground. The system continues to travel through, bringing a very moderate snow throughout the evening hours. It's going to be a snowy night, and it will begin to stick for us by tomorrow morning. You're waking up to snow-covered roads and snow that's still falling that will limit visibility, so it will be a messy day for us. I'm sure the next question you have is how much snow. Now, these models are showing us right now that Indy, we're right in the two to three inch range, so most of the swath of Indianapolis and areas to the north, uh, we're saying two to five inches. Because of this line is so close, you see where we see the four to five and even four to eight inch snowfall totals around South Bend because this system really has this very sharp cutoff line to where it's bringing quite a bit of snow to where it's going to lessen the total. So, if you're in the northwest quadrant of the state, you'll need the shovel. For central Indiana, I think we're expecting a minor rat mess. We are in the two to five inch range, but Indy, I think we're closer to the low register of that range. Now, if you're further north, you get a little higher. As you get a view of what's happening here, 37, a wet start for you in Indianapolis, and then that rain starts to transition by the evening hours here. This evening, I do think most of us are getting in on snow. Seven day plenty forecast will show this will not last for us for a long period of time. By tomorrow morning, it's winding down. Tomorrow afternoon, it's out of here, and we dry out and warm up for the weekend, which is good news. And if you head out the door today, just know it's a weather alert day. Use caution.